and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are going to settle the age-old debate of which wood glue is better rated for outdoor use. Type on three, type on two, and I'm even going to throw in some Gorilla Wood glue for funsies. I'm going to glue each of these together face to face, let them cure overnight, and then after they're good and cured, I'm going to throw them outside for a couple weeks, and then we'll test the results. So this is going to be a long-term test. Let's go. All right, first, let's go with Gorilla Glue. First thing, I need some clamps. We're going to try to keep this as equal as possible. So I'm going to do one clamp per. Cover the face of one board, or one piece of wood, rather. See you in a few weeks. Well, I believe we left off at, I said I was going to leave these out in the elements for a couple weeks, but you know, nobody got time for that. So I'm going to drop these in a bowl of water. We're going to leave them there for a few hours. Then I'm going to take them out and let them sit on the driveway in the nice sunlight. And we're going to see if one of them pulls apart or not, because this test is just about seeing which one holds up in the elements better. I don't care about strength. I just want to see which one is better for outdoor applications. Here we go. Real glue, type on two, type on three. I'm just going to let them wallow there for a while. All right, to get these to hold down in the water, I'm going to put this jack stand on top of them. I'd like them to be submerged. Ooh, I wish I thought it was Hey, Siri, set a timer for 90 minutes. All right, it's been 90 minutes. I think that's plenty of time. The Gorilla Glue is still holding. Nice. Type on three, still holding as well. And the Type on two is also still holding very well. Now we're just gonna leave them out in the sun and uh, come back to them later. Might dump out the water though. Don't need that anymore. Hey, Siri, set a timer for two hours. Okay, your timer is set for two hours. All right, boys and girls, we are back. I think I'm going to submerge these blocks again because I just feel like, you know, if it's going to hold up to the elements, it needs to endure more water and more sun. So, round two. Pop these in. Put the jack stand on to keep them down. This is always like a tricky. I don't know how I got this so good the first time. That's good. Hey, Siri, set a timer for three hours. Your timer is set for three hours. Hey, what's going on, gang? I left these in the water overnight. Because, why not? This isn't a real scientific test. So I figured, let's punish them, right? Right up. All right, strength test. I'm obviously not the strongest guy in the world, but I'm also not the weakest guy in the world. I'd like to believe I'm a mid-level strength guy. Anyway. Type on two, and I give it everything I got. I cannot break those apart. Gorilla glue, same, and type on three. 
they're all very strong still and the wood does feel spongy now we're going to let them sit in the sun for a while what's up gang and welcome back so these have soaked for 24 hours they've sat in the sun for 48 hours i know we said we were going to do a couple weeks but ain't nobody got time for that and it's not like this is super scientific anyway i'd like to put them through another test um, I think I'm going to clamp them to my bench, let them overhang a little bit, and whack them with a mallet. Let's go. We're going to use Big Bertha. The wood failed and not the glue joint. That was Gorilla Glue. Put that together. Yep, as you can see, the glue joint's right there. Now we're going to do Tide Bomb too. Same test. <sighs> Looks like yet again. Another wood fail and not the glue fail. Glue joint popped off right there. That's right there, it's like that. That's like that. The glue, well, it cracked along the glue joint right there. Still not bad. And once again, the wood failed and not the wood glue. I'd say they're all fine for outdoor use. There's the wood joint, or the glue joint rather. They help pretty well. All right, let's talk about the results. First of all, this was very unscientific. I know that. If you feel the need to tell me about it, tell me in the comments. First up, let's talk about Gorilla Glue. It fared really well. They all fared really well. Um, and it did take two hits because that first hit I didn't swing real hard. I didn't think I would need to, to be perfectly honest. So I took a second whack at it and it broke. The wood broke before the wood joint broke. So I think that's a win. Gorilla Glue is definitely okay to use on an exterior project, at least in the short term. Tight Bond 2. Now Tight Bond 2 did look like it broke a little bit along the glue joint, but not a whole lot. Um, the wood failed more than the glue failed. So still, still a perfectly viable option for an exterior project, even for cutting boards. Yeah, I said cutting boards. They're, they're good for that too. Tight Bond 3. I think Type Bond 3 held the best. Um, it was the only one that didn't have any uh, glue joint failure. It was all wood failure. And it never got gummy. So like after I took these out of the water, some of them felt a little gummy around the glue joint. You could feel the glue starting to soften up. Type Bond 3 never felt that way. My conclusion is, you can use all of these for an exterior project, at least in the short term. I don't, I don't know how long they would fare for uh, a much longer period of time. Obviously, Type Bond 3 is exterior rated for the pros, rated number one by the pros. So take that however you want. Um, that's what most everybody uses for outdoor projects anyways. But I think they're all great for uh, cutting boards. And they all held up just fine in this little test that I put on. Thanks for watching.